nice to see you. you yeah, if you don't mind staying close together. Yeah, really to oh. <laughs> yeah no, nice and warm there. Um, so if people don't know anything about Rye Lane, can you tell us what they can expect? Okay, well, Rye Lane is a super cute, bright, joyous rom-com set in the incredible South London. We want our audience, when they leave the cinema, to be feeling joyous and to laugh a lot at our jokes. I can't do any better than that. <laughs> <laughs> he encapsulated it so well. Um, and, you know, obviously, you know, you can see there's a number of things, kind of a love letter to South London in lots of ways. Yeah. What sparked the initial idea? And, and why did you want to kind of capture this part of London on, on screen? We, I mean, we love, look, we love this part of London. That's exactly why. No, but we, um, we wanted to uh, write a rom-com and we started to talk about how much we loved those kind of glossy Richard Curtis style rom-coms. But what would our version look like? Uh, set in a London that we lived in and we know and grew up in and also kind of like populated by, by our mates. And that's where the initial kind of uh, idea spark from I feel yeah. like. We want to see ourselves and we want to see the city that we fall in love with, man. And such an incredible cast, particularly Dave and Vivian right at the centre. How do you know this was the right two? And, you know, this amazing chemistry that we're going to share on screen. When the first time we saw Viv and David in their oh. chemistry test, we were like, what is going on? Yeah. And we had to ask whether they were really together yeah. in real life. We were like, what? Have you found a real couple to do this? And then uh, we learned that actors, there's a thing called acting. And um, please... They're like, pretending. Yeah, they're pretending. Yeah, they were amazing. And every time David smiles at Viv, like, I feel like he melts my heart. <laughs> And of course, music is such an integral part of it. It's not just capturing how, how this part of London looks, but how it sounds as well. Um, you know, how, what role did that play and why is it so important? Music was incredibly important. Uh, and not just to the film, but while we were writing it as well. And we always tend to write music into our films and very rarely do any of the songs stay in. We, I think we got a couple, the, the Tribe Quest songs still in it, but then, Rain kind of uh, brought Quez on and he is just, he's designed this soundscape that just sums up the kind of joy but moments of melancholy of the film so well. And it feels like a soundtrack that I would have bought and would have been so important to me when I was 18. Oh, yeah. No, everything he said. And just finally, you know, what does it mean? What do you people take away? Seeing themselves represented on screen, obviously important, but also realizing that linear love stories are kind of not really real, you know? And we can have self-love, we can have short-term relationships, and that can all be fun too. I think I want the audience to take away love in whatever way they want to digest it. It is up to them. If they want to see it and text their sneaky link go do that if they want to you know call their ex ooh, do that i mean that's none of my business and you know you terms signed of, off on that yeah, terms and conditions apply don't hold me for that it's none of my goddamn business but i want them to leave feeling like love is everything and that's what we want this movie to be man you can't go home after seeing this film you have to go out for a drink yes. and try and meet someone or meet your mates and love yeah. them or yeah. whatever you need or join to tinder or grinder or whatever don't you want to join don't give adverts for these i mean ones. no look, they're not paying me but whatever big up them amazing thanks for your time. Really enjoy the night. Thank you. Cheers. Lovely.